Hey everybody, welcome to the POS Podcast. Um, it's been a while. It's been like a month and change. Oh, uh, and change, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've all had some stuff happen. All did Christmas and New Year's and stuff this month. Um, yeah, so with me, I have Saber Spark. Hi. I have Jack's Blade. Hi, how are you doing? I have Hirosashi, who is now a video game. Howdy. He has to become Final Fantasy. I have. <laughs> this raid should have been finished so long ago. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see would stop dying. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we have a lot to, to talk about. Um, we're probably going to, like, skim over a bunch of stuff. Uh, but uh, probably, like, half of this podcast is going to be Q&A just so we can catch up with, with you guys. Um, and I do have a couple announcements uh, for different things. Uh, first of all... I don't have a Podbean anymore for the POS podcast, um, because it didn't really seem worth it to me for the audience that we have at the moment. Maybe in the future I'll like revive it, but for right now it's going to be dormant. So there's not going to be um, the uh, the audio version of the podcast. There'll just be the um, the version that's on YouTube. Uh, though you, if you have YouTube like premium or whatever, you can listen to it that way. Um, if you just want to listen to the podcast. Uh, so, yeah, no Podbean for now. Uh, if the podcast gets somehow, get, like, gets, um, bigger, then I'll go back into it. But at the, at the moment, it just didn't seem, like, worth it to, to have Podbean. So. Mm. Yeah, Podbean's if you're yeah. going, like, really hard. Yeah. So, there's not gonna be that, uh, anymore. So, sorry about that. It's just, uh, I don't, I don't see it, it is worth it for right now. Though there's still, still be, like, free on YouTube and everything for the podcast. So. Anyway, yeah, I guess we'll uh, get into it with uh, different things. We'll start with, like, some movies, a whole bunch of movies uh, that uh, have come out uh, since the last um, podcast. Uh, first, let's talk about, like, one that's, like, really good that I think we've all seen and we all really like. Um, and that is uh, Spider-Verse. Dang, it's gonna start off with the big one? Yeah, start out, <laughs> let's start off with the big one. Right <laughs> out the game. Uh, right. what, a, what a good movie! Good, it ass is a really movie, good movie, man. <laughs> like it's, I guess when I first saw saw all the reports coming, I'm like, oh, it sounds really good. It probably will be good, but it sounds overhyped. But it's like, no, it it even by yep. hyped up standards, it still holds up, if not surpasses expectations. It's so pretty, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, it, it has like this excellent blend of the uh, the the two D effects with the three D models. Um, and the, the coloring on, like, the models and, like, the backgrounds and everything just look really good. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's literally just both in, like, the style and the story itself. It's the most comic book, comic book movie I've ever seen. Absolutely. Right, it's funny because you said, like, you could take any frame of this movie and it looks like a comic. And I was like, let's take that to, like, the test. So I legit, like, went through frame by frame of, like, some scenes on YouTube. I was like, he wasn't even joking. Yeah. <laughs> single frame it's nuts man yeah it's it's really good um supposedly uh oscar nominations are coming out tomorrow morning um uh. and because uh, uh spider-verse already got the golden globe for best animated feature yeah. um uh for oscar nominations the academy is kind of weird so uh i i honestly wouldn't be surprised if they didn't nominate it like they said, uh, like and, different and movies people before. People would be furious. People would be infuriated for real, yeah. Yeah. Even in like other folks from the industry who work on this stuff will be like, no, 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 no. That they, they they deserve to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hope they do. Yeah. Um, I saw it three times in theaters because I saw it once by myself. I saw it once with my dad, and then I saw it uh, again with you guys when we had the the New Year's party. Mm hmm. I saw so. it. 17 times 17 <laughs> damn 17 times yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you so, did you see it more than incredibles 2 last year yes i saw incredibles yeah. like seven times and i got tired of going to the theater and then uh this <laughs> one affected me to the point where i was like i falling in love with this movie because i remember the first time i saw the movie i saw it post uh the dragon ball super broly movie and i was like all right it's good but then like it's one of those things where you see two hype things back to next to each other they sort of cancel each other out so i was like oh, this is good i mean it could have been all right and then like um 
I want to watch it again. And then I was like, oh, God, this is such a good movie. I really like it. It's like, and it just grew again. Then I went to see it a third time. And I was like, I fucking love this movie. I fucking love this movie. I need to see this movie over and over again. It was just beautiful. And I kept, I was like, Dad, you want to go see Spider-Verse? Let's go. Z, you want to go see Spider-Verse? Let's go. Mom, let's go see Spider-Verse. And, you know, I just kept taking various people to it. I love the movie. There's so much from the Ultimate Comics, which is based on, that they like brought in, but they also altered to make it fit better. And I was like, okay, that did so good. Uh, the freaking animation style was beautiful. I love how the spiders guys do that thing with their eyes and yeah. they them down and they close and they wince and stuff like that. That's just something, no matter how many technical things, like that requires like so much technical stuff in real life to do. Like when Tom Holland <laughs> has it, you have to like have a suit where you yeah. have someone. Whereas like, this is, something. it's animated. So like it makes yeah. more sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's incredible. Uh, I honestly think it's like the second best anime Spider-Man next after Spectacular Spider-Man stuff. So it's a best Spider-Man you, movie. You said yeah. loving Spectacular. Dude, Spectacular Spider-Man. It's a I really good show. I didn't watch that. I forgot. I said I was going to watch it. I completely Bro, forgot. I'm so sorry. Yeah, really, yeah. Definitely do. Maybe don't watch it because you'll be mad that it's gone. <laughs> that, that no, it was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Greg Wiseman, he made Young Justice and that got canceled years ago. And then like, he was able to bring it back and they've been killing it this third season. This third season has just been just as incredible. So like a lot of people are like hinting like, well, maybe since Disney doesn't do much for the Marvel cartoons anymore, you could do something with that since they were seeing it was the number one uh, most streamed uh, show this last few weeks because it's just been doing yeah, amazing. They'll have it like incredible. part of the, um, the Disney streaming service coming out this year. Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. That'd be amazing. <laughs> but like to go back that'd to be spectacular. Back, Oh yeah! Stop it. <laughs> it. That'd be the ultimate experience. Oh, <laughs> the so superior funny. experience. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Doc Ock reference if you get that comics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, I, I sincerely love this movie. I think a lot of people should go mm-hmm. check it out. Uh, the music. Uh, I've been listening music. to the music like legit a lot. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, Dude, I this... found out the the Gwen Stacy origin oh, song. You found it? Uh, no, it? it's just Link not it. out yet. It comes out on the twenty fifth. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that that, that is, it was a song they used that was like not officially out. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it was it was a solid song. I, the whole music thing was great. Like the thing about why I can rewatch it so much is I there was never an instance of where I'm bored. Like usually in a movie, yeah. There's always like the little lull part where I'm like, mm. oh, this part's coming up now. Whatever. Like literally from start to finish, it's just like. Mm. All right, action. Oh, character development. I like these characters. So I don't mind it. Oh, this uh, down. Uh, this down. I'm just like, okay, I'm digging everything. I loved uh, Spider Noir. I love Penny Parker. I love Peter Porker. I loved uh, freaking Gwen Stacy, Peter B. Parker, Miles, all of them great. His uncle was great. Uh, Kingpin, I loved as a villain, though I still say he was too fucking strong. And I don't care what anyone <laughs> says, he was too fucking strong. That is stupid. That is so dumb. But oh, you are not Goku, my guy. Like, <laughs> Dude, it's just, yeah, it's ridiculous. You shouldn't. You're strong, but not that strong. Whatever, it's stupid. But it was that was a great movie, and I loved how they got the chocolate and vanilla swirl hints going on. So that was oh pretty my good. God. And that, well, that's what happens in the comics, so I was all happy for it. And uh, yeah, the next movie is going to be based on that. And uh, yeah, I definitely can't wait for it. Gonna get that on Blu-ray. Definitely support the thing, and can't hope the sequel is just as good. I really hope they keep uh, people. Who did yeah. such a great job because it's, it's funny that disney threw away uh the people who made the lego movie in 21 jump street like i forget their names but uh they made this movie too so it's like oh yeah Phil Lord and chris miller right yeah, yeah. it was like we don't want you doing solo go do something else okay best spider-man movie ever <laughs> <laughs> they, they got a great track record i think a big part of me i also liked is that like usually for main characters i i just I'm like, oh, you're Mary Sue, or I don't care about your plight, or it's boring. But, like, Miles, I really cared about. I wanted to see him succeed. I really felt bad mm-hmm. that he was almost lost in all of it. And I thought it was very charming how he's like, oh, my God, I got to be Spider-Man. And it's like a little kid, like, trying to emulate, like, okay, here is how he did it. And I'm going to try to do it by keep failing and failing. I don't know. And then finally it clicks. And it's like that that scene gave me chills in the theater, like, with – uh when Miles finally like realized himself and how to be a hero, that that was oh man, great. Movie. You know he was also so funny. He's out of his fucking head because he spray painted himself and he was just high as fuck when he was flying over there. <laughs> <laughs> it was fresh spray paint. So it was just yeah. Like, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it was just, it was... Fumes. And then I just I still don't buy how his afro fit in that mask. It was badass, but I don't buy his afro. <laughs> <laughs> it just sticks out. <laughs> yeah, it was just like. 
<laughs> so it's made around 325 million so that's that's good it's good yeah. yeah solid film solid film go watch it if you haven't yeah i mean go sincerely watch it don't watch it online go watch it yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, it support it. yeah. You need, this is one that's worth supporting absolutely yeah we need more movies that look like this too we need yeah. more movies that look less like all the movies we keep getting like they <laughs> yeah. look, like, don't get me wrong but like it's nice to have just a more stylistic movie this one yeah. sticks out it's so unique it's it's oh, one of those yeah. moments where i was like how can you shake it up enough like i thought lego movie was a good direction where it's like no this is different it's visually different and mm. uh, you know fun enough you know phil and chris miller but, like spider yeah. is like no this is different this looks visually like stunning and 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 you throw this to a pixar lineup and you go no 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 that's that stands out that one mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's not just like by character designs but like with the frame rate and everything that was really cool right. yeah, yeah the whole thing where it like look 3d on the side without glasses like at first i, I thought that was going to bother me but then like it i just stopped my nose at it also really yeah. love it go check it out mm-hmm. all right yeah um Jax. Yes. Do you want to talk about Broly? Oh, sure, yeah. Fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, yeah, that movie... Um, since that since movie you mentioned really you saw it, like, right before Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, I did. I saw it right before Spider-Man because I got invited to the red carpet premiere, and it was awesome, and it was incredible, That's and I've really been cool waiting to talk invited. about it. Yeah, dude, I was so honored like that they were like, oh, we like your stuff, and it was, like, it was cool, and then I got drunk and danced on Bulma's voice actress, and that was weird. <laughs> but anyways, that was... Uh, it was such a great movie like to people who can see it in theaters now like definitely have a chance like what i love about it is even if you haven't followed dragon ball or super like all the way through like the beginning is basically just origin of like all right this is what the saiyans do this is why they go through all their stuff this is how this happened to them and uh the beginning was uh just beautiful like they tell you like oh no like this is why they do this for uh frieza this is why they're like slaves to frieza and his like progress and stuff like that and how broly got sent away and all this stuff and it was just a beautiful thing where you don't have to have anything like if you just know the characters like oh i know that's goku i know that's vegeta i know that's whatever like if it's made for the fans because this takes place right after the end of dragon ball super and the fight scene it just i gotta give mad props because first off the story was generally captivating it was like it was sad it was like emotional Mm -hmm. and um uh the the uh the ca- characters like they did goku right like sometimes he's been kind of stupid and super they just made him like a bit dumbed down but they actually got goku back on point the choreography was beautiful like they had this whole thing like at the beginning like oh D- broly's uh grown up on this planet with all these like bug people or like bug monsters and shit like that so he said to survive like a freaking space jack tarzan and he's fighting all these creatures with his dad because they're the only ones on this planet and uh he has a different fighting style than vegeta who's like you know more boxer and stuff like that and goku uses martial arts and it's 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 so cool to me that they took something because like for years i was saying like ah i love dragon ball but i wish the fight scenes look like the stuff it inspired like you know naruto uh, my hero academia one punch man all this stuff and i was always like talking like i really wish it could look like that and then for Mm -hmm. years it was just like yeah i mean it's all right but it's good but this movie was just like all right children Sit down. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's good yeah, here, though. Yeah, it's just like, let me show you how Daddy does this. And I was like, oh fuck, because like they show you that these characters bust planets and destroy galaxies. Don't no, do not forget that. And it's just like the way they're fighting. Like there's a scene where this guy fucking punched to the atmosphere to the core of the Earth, and it's just it's just like so insane. And the power is just it's absolutely beautiful. It was animation spectacle. The CGI, which usually bar- bothers me in these movies, like was beautiful to look at it, it like actually it wasn't like it, it, i'll say it wasn't like uh super great or anything like that but it was just like oh i'm not noticing as much as like other stuff like in other movies where it just looks like a freaking ps2 game and um mm-hmm. uh, the whole way like they beat broly the way broly acts as a character since he's not a bad guy they say that in the trailer is like it, he's just like he's this guy who's misunderstood but he's forced into this way of fighting and like seeing him like grow and like realize oh i don't want to be this way but i have to for this and it was just it was beautiful i love that movie i highly recommend it to everyone go see it in theaters while you can and uh yeah it was an absolutely incredible experience and it's like the top three anime films of all time right now and it's like jesus christ hey that's that's some praise for for uh for box office 
no, not box art. Like and, and something. In opinion, in like opinion wise. Something. It something. Uh, hold on, let me look exactly because I know a lot of bunch. Because I I know there was one where it was saying like bo the bo uh, it, like made a lot of money um, compared to other anime films. Yeah, yeah, it made like a lot, a lot of money. Like it was like, I don't. I'm not 100% sure on what exactly, because I know someone posted it, and they were like, it's made this much already, it's already here, 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 and I was like, oh, damn, that's fantastic for a Dragon Ball movie, a freaking Dragon Ball movie, and it's just, <laughs> it's, it's so good. Like, it's one of those things, like, if you've only, if your only experience with Dragon Ball is with fighters, then you would, like, enjoy this movie. Like, you would it generally just go into this movie and just like, oh, shit, I know the characters, I know this is how they work, this is, this is badass, mm -hmm. loved it, go check it out in theaters, highly recommend it. Nice, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I got number three over the box office like this weekend. Yeah, that, that's for an anime film. So yeah, I know, yeah. man. I, I saw that on box office with you. I was like, damn, did it do that well? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And then Sheila is so fucking fine in this movie. I mean, she doesn't play football, but <laughs> she is. Hey, God. There, yeah, like I couldn't escape without. Uh, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. I thought I almost her. got through it. I was like, damn, did we? Oh, I know, because I was just like waiting. Because I was just, oh God, I love her. She's got it. Oh, right. she's awesome. Broly's girlfriend's hot. That's all I'll say. All right, there we go. <laughs> all right. But that's, but that's, oh, okay. <laughs> that's not as that's not that's in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, now let's talk about a different kind of movie. Uh, Aquaman. Oh yeah, Aquaman. I saw, I saw that. Why did you say it that way? Though? Aquaman, Spider-Man, uh... Batman. <laughs> Gucci Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Aquaman. I, I went to go see it with my dad. Um, uh, Didn't inspire you to start growing your hair no. out and beard out and start it, lifting it, weights and swimming no, with sharks. No, I mean, look at me. Look at me. Right. Like, let me say this first. I had a dream before, like, I think, like, two weeks before, and I told Paleo about this. I was like, I had a dream he saw Aquaman, and it just, like, inspired, it lit a f fire in him where he was just like, you know what, I need to, like, yeah, I need to, like, get, like, buff, and I need to grow my beard out, and I need to swim, and it's just beautiful, and I loved it. It cracked me. I, I was just like, like, I thought that was going to happen. I was just like, okay. If it did happen, that would have been cool. Because you got the long hair already. You got the long hair. So all you got to do is grow a beard. And just lift weights. Don't have a neck like that guy, that black guy with no neck. Just walk around, <laughs> and just swim with dolphins or whatever. Yeah, um, this movie was weird. <laughs> it was goofy fun. Yeah, to me, it wasn't like it's like horrible. call me Ocean Master. Ocean Master. <laughs> call me Ocean Man. <laughs> Why didn't they play that song in the movie? <laughs> I don't know. I oh, lost God. opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! See, it was cool. Is like, if you were, uh, like the, the, the thing is like, that that happened twice in the movie. Whereas, like, call me Ocean Master and call me Black Manta. <laughs> call me Black Manta. And then he had that fucking weird thing. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks good in animation. Like, it, in general, yeah, it like, it, looks badass. Yeah. But it's, it, it's in live action. It's just silly. Like, it's just like, why didn't you just have a ninja outfit where it's just like, I don't. I don't I'm actually kind of happy that they did do it because it's like okay it's like the comics i take it i mean we're talking about a guy who lifted a fucking submarine out of the water somehow and i got he's like i should come aboard or whatever <laughs> yeah, no so awesome. stupid pun. it's like god damn it like you're about to get shot you're like Ugh. i love that <laughs> it was so good so, so we got Aquaman underwater, and you got his his khaleesi wife from game of thrones flying on dragons above. mara, <laughs> mara. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm like uh, yeah, Daenerys from Game of Thrones because uh, he's I'm, Call uh, Drogo. Yeah, Call Drogo. You, you know, Jason Mimosa was in Jason uh, Momoa. M Mimosa. I know. He's he a beautiful a, man. He's a handsome fellow, but he was in Game of Thrones in season one, I believe. Cal Drogo. Yep. Oh man, he is a beautiful man. Yeah. Okay. He buffed oh. up, man. I, he was already ripped when he was called Drogo, but then like in. Aquaman, it's like, holy fuck, you are shredded. Yeah, he took the time and chiseled that body up. So I was just like, oh my god. But yeah, yeah when I saw this movie, I was just like, because I was indifferent to it. Because I honestly, the only, I don't think there's been a 
DCEU film I really have just loved like most of them are just like I tolerate it like for instance Wonder Woman I th- everyone was like saying oh this is a great movie this is a great movie and I was just like it's a it's, it's all right, all right. Yeah, but right. it's not it's like right. it's not like a phenomenal thing like people are making it seem like oh this is like the second dark knight and I'm just like no it's not it really isn't it's just like, what the heck are you talking about and it's just like there's so much slow I I, I could go on one woman and then it was just like um, when he showed up in justice league i was like okay he's a pretty like he's a fun guy all right like justice league was just like i mean if it's on i'll like skim through it i ain't gonna like lose my shit over it it didn't make me angry like bvs did and uh like he, and this movie was really like, oh, i liked the way he i liked his relationship with his dad i liked how he was you know like this big bro mean, like, uh, like, yeah like man bro yeah, I'm gonna go drink and go like you know, fucking swim and shit like that. You know, and just like I, I thought that was, I love that. I love that about his character. And Mara was cool with her water bending stuff that yeah. they had in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a fun goofy movie. I thought that was overall. Did you say a goofy movie? Yeah, it is fun goofy movie because it's no, it's not. <laughs> uh, man. All right, uh, another movie to talk about. Um, uh, I guess talk a little bit about uh, Bumblebee because uh, I want to go see that yeah. as well. Okay. Um, you liked it a lot, didn't you? I didn't say a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said, and I quote, "I want to fuck that bee." <laughs> <laughs> no, um, like I, I liked Bumblebee. Like I, I liked it as in, like, oh yeah, this is like by far the best Transformers movie. Uh, but that's not very hard. Um, <laughs> it's not very hard to do. Um, best live action was, Transformers movie a, that is. Well, even better than the '80s one. No, I said best live action Transformers. Oh, okay. Movie. I was yeah. about to say. <laughs> there, I saw. No, I did. Uh, I did watch the '80s I one. I am talking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I saw a clip on YouTube where it had like Megatron like talking to a bunch of lawyers, and they were like bartering over like I guess. And though the Decepticons. Yeah, was, they're like, who, the recent who, movie. who will we release out of prison so we can get Megatron to help us out? And I'm like, why are you giving him prisoners? These guys are fucking like rapist robots. Like, leave them. In jail, <laughs> mm-hmm. He was like, give me Deathstroke, or whatever the fuck his name was, and it was just like, oh, well, he'll go do it. Uh, you know this for this movie. I know Paleo said about it, like it's just ET and Iron Giant story. Yeah, thing, but it's just like it pretty much is. <laughs> oh, but it's true. I I love the beginning when they're on Cybertron. Yeah, that, that, that was great, scene. especially because like they all look like they should. The 80s, <laughs> yeah, they look like the '80s one. I mean, they, some parts look a bit too CGI, but whatever. It's a Transformers movie, yeah. and I like that. But then when they got to the whole thing on Earth, and he was just like, uh, "Oh, I'm a cute robot." When at the beginning he was acting like a competent warrior, and I'm killing people left and right. And like, "Oh God, I don't know how to hide. Ugh, I'm so stupid." <laughs> it's just like, "Shut up, Bumblebee! You're a fucking warrior. Like, stop it!" Like, uh, they, they, uh, like the be- the middle of this movie. Just I, the whole thing with Haley Steinfeld, even though I love her music and she was great as Gwen Stacy, I just I did not care for that at all. I really did not. It was just so boring because I saw it with ZJ when we um, uh, it it was uh, it was all right. I like the I like the design, like you said. I really like the design, but yeah. um, the ending. Uh, and you know what? One scene did make me laugh super hard was with uh, John Cena, where he was just like, "Oh yeah, why are we gonna trust these things? <laughs> They're, They're literally called, called Decepticons." Decepticons. Yeah, it's like it's so true. Like, why do we <laughs> trust Decepticons? It's so stupid. Uh, besides that, I just yeah. thought it was a all right film. I think no, Iron the, Giant did the better. Yeah, Iron Giant uh, obviously is better. Um, yeah, but uh, I was gonna say about about the the eighties movie because uh, I didn't I didn't watch the eighties movie when I was a kid. I only oh, watched you it. Oh, missed the heartbreak. Then. Yeah, I only I only watched it when um, uh, as an adult. And watching it as an adult, I'm like, I probably should like watch the show like before watching this movie because like yeah. when I watched the movie, I was like, what the fuck is going on? They just <laughs> killed everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> that shit had me cry. I remember my sister had to console me because when Optimus died, because I was such a big fan of the show when he died, I was crying my eyes out because like I because like the way I saw it was because the show was already going on before I was born. So like I would like I would watch the episodes that were reruns, and then uh, my sister got me the movie. And I saw the movie, and Optimus died, 
and I was fucking heartbroken. I cried and cried so hard. I can't believe how hard I cried. And then it was just whatever. Uh, and it was it was cool, like having Unicron, the planet size Transformer, and they fucked yeah. him up in that fifth Transformers movie. But yeah, yeah was, they they cool. actually played the the song uh, like you got the touch, uh, got in, the touch. In, in in Bumblebee. Yeah, so, yeah, that was a nice yeah. touch. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, right. you know what? You know what's sad though. What I still like, sort of. Even I don't know what it is. I think it's just like there's something about the very first, the very first 2007 Transformers movie. There's something that just cracks me up about that movie. Where it's it's not like good, and I won't stand up for it. But it's just like if it's on, I can like laugh at like stuff. Yeah. In it. Like that's it. Everyone, then one else pisses me off. Fuck them. Uh, All right. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the last movie here. Um, uh, Mary Poppins Returns. Uh, did any of you see, see it? it? That's did a scary you see movie, it? isn't it? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, okay, scary. I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> scary, <laughs> scary movie yeah. because, yeah, it's, it even sounds like a horror movie, the way Mary Poppins <laughs> returns. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is that... Is it, did you ever see that old YouTube video where they like took the Mary Poppins trailer and turned yeah, it into yeah. a horror trailer? And it's just like, yeah, ever since that, I can't watch Mary Poppins anymore. It fucks me. <laughs> Yeah, but so, um, I I thought it was pretty pretty good. Um, it, it it's two D uh segment uh was really good. Um, and it had like some interesting like camera movements. Uh, because the the thing is like with the two D segment, they're going like inside of a bowl, uh, mm -hmm. like this painted bowl that has like these different images on it. Um, and they do these interesting things where like the the costumes like they they look more two D, like the props look more two D. Uh. And they have it to where, like, since it's on a bowl, there's, like, different angles. There's, like, a chase scene where they're going, like, on the side of the bowl. It's, like, kind of, like, sideways. It looks really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like, you know, that like classic that classic scene. Disney 2D animation, which is <laughs> hasn't been in theaters since, like, Winnie the Pooh 2011. Winnie the Pooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the bathtub scene was cool, though. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That yeah, there, cool there's there's a lot of uh, interesting uh, sequences um, in, in the movie and the, the different the different songs and, and dances. Um, the though it's very very much where it's like oh yeah I can like put this side by side with the original and yeah it's it's pretty much like you're doing this but in this way. Um, right. But it was still it's still fun. Um, so I I'd recommend seeing it if you if you like like Mary Poppins so and musicals. So it was yeah. a good movie then overall. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. It's the first Disney live action remake that you like. Yeah. Well, well it's, it's not really a remake. It's, a it's sequel. Re <laughs> oh, it's not a remake. Okay. I yeah, it, it it's a sequel. Did they uh, make it like? Did they explain like why she looks different than she did before? Like they uh, like, no, well, no, they they, they, they it's, it's it's like the doctor. Yeah, no, exactly. no, they um they actually said like you you look like you haven't aged a bit so like they they they're not they're not not uh acknowledging that she's different actors. Oh, they so, should have did the thing um, where they changed faces. There was supposed like, to be a cameo from Julie Andrews, but I guess she didn't just didn't do it. <laughs> and it there's there's like a moment where it it's so obvious it's supposed to be Julie Andrews, but it's not. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, and those so, cameos it doesn't work. Yeah. Because there, okay. there's a cameo from Dick Van Dyke, but not mm -hmm. Julie Andrews. Oh, I can't get my paycheck. That's By the way, you don't forget Dick Van Dyke was in fucking Trollland, so just let it sink in. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, let's move on to some news and stuff. Um, first of all, let's talk about the fact that uh, Pixar revealed the, the title of their next movie. That's going to be their next original movie that's coming out um, yes. next year. Has it been that long since we've done the podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's All called right. Onward, and it's about a suburban mm -hmm. fantasy. Or, or, or a fantasy setting that's set in, like, a suburban environment or whatever. Which sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. All I we have, have is, like, a, a teaser logo right now. You're right. I have to wait for a trailer so that I could not watch it before I form my opinion. <laughs> but, yeah. So... The, the rest of the movie's in development right now at Pixar. Uh, like, mm -hmm. um, keyword in development right now um, uh, are all original. So after Toy Story 4, we get original Pixar again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at least for a little bit. Why is that movie? Well, isn't Toy Story <laughs> 5 coming out too? No. No. That was like a rumor then? That's not real? Oh, I sure hope so. 
Okay. If you get Toy Story Five, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> yeah. I I I'm legitimately like I don't know how they can fucking top Toy Story Three. With me, it was a perfect conclusion. There's no way because Andy's gone and he was one of the. <laughs> Andy's the dead. <laughs> And he died. He's gonna come uh, back and be like, "Whoops, forgot my Charizard slippers at home." Got it. Whoa, whoa. Charizard slippers. <laughs> I, the only reason I said that is because I have Charizard slippers. It, it just, I don't know. It, it's not gonna be good. I feel like you're opening the casket and pulling the corpse out, and it's like, no, no. It's it. it we let it let this to rest. Let it. You can't beat the ending. The ending is so strong. Powerful. That's what yeah. I said. It's a perfect trilogy. You had the perfect trilogy. Why are you mm-hmm. pulling some shit where you had it? God, why? It's so annoying. <laughs> money, 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 money. I, I'm glad that the, new, the next decade for Pixar is going to be a lot more uh, original. Because, yeah. like, this decade was, like, it was it was solid. But, like, the first decade was legendary. There were the four, were... four yeah. original movies this decade we for tried. Pixar. Oh, yeah, we tried out. Yeah, Inside there... Out, Good Dinosaur, Coco, and then... Um... Brave. Let me see. <laughs> I would like. I would legit would not have thought of that for like the next at least minute. Because what is the last? To which like, uh, Brave was the my least favorite. Uh, I thought good. Even more okay. than Cars too. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, of the originals. Of the yeah. four. Of the four. <laughs> Brave is my second least favorite Pixar movie, though probably. Was Cars two this decade? Yeah, twenty eleven. 20, oh, I thought it was 2010. Okay, 2011. No, 2010 was Toy Story 3. Fuck that movie. That movie is awful. Cars 2 is definitely, like, absolutely at the bottom. Nothing even really comes close, to be completely honest. Nope. And they try to think... end themselves with Cars 3, and it's still like, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. But... Do you Cars like, 3 was do you a lot like... better. <laughs> do you like Brave or the Good Dinosaur better, Helio? Good Dinosaur. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brave, Brave was pretty, and I think there's a... a... There was a good premise there, but, but like it felt more like a, uh, an okay Disney movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was boring. I thought it was boring. I, I think I was just felt. I felt like I was led so astray by the trailer. I was like, oh, this is a cool look at this girl's it, hair. It, it's She's Brother Bear, cool. but Pixar. Then, she was gonna be an archer. I was like so like so excited for a female archer. Like Pixar movie is gonna be sick. Then it, it was Crazy. about a, it was about a bear. Oh, there, there, there's something I was reminded of the uh, the other day. Uh, that, that made me uh, rem- remind myself that I dislike Brave even more. Uh, it uh-huh. won Best Animated Feature uh, for the Oscars for the 2012 ones, and it was, was it, it, it was against like Wreck It Ralph, uh, Paranorman, um, friggin I I think was Wolf Children nom- nominated. Because if it was against the Wolf Children, I'd be like I I'd, I'd be furious. <laughs> like, like come on come on now. <laughs> How good does a foreign movie have to be for you guys to... <laughs> I can't remember if Wolf's Children was nominated or not. Uh, it's not a cartoon, it's from Japan. <laughs> I, but yeah, uh, already, like, Paranorman and Wreck-It Ralph are, like, both better, so... <laughs> I haven't watched I, Paranorman I, in a long time. That's a sad movie. Yeah, what movie? Paranorman. Paranorman. Apparently you watched My Life as a Zucchini recently. Yeah, that that was sad. It was sad. It's yeah, like, this is so about it's... fucking child abuse. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. you, didn't, you didn't expect it when you went in. You're like, oh, where is the zucchini? My mother is a zucchini, and you're like, oh, you mean like a Japanese steakhouse where they stab him? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right. Um, moving on, uh, also Disney related. Uh, let's talk about the fact they they announced there's they're gonna make a live action Hunchback of Notre Dame. But he was already in Three Hundred. Please, I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love what Leia Knight says. Shoot. He's he's like, hey bitch, I hope you live forever. Fuck you. <laughs> That's like the <laughs> ultimate insult for a Spartan. It's like. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but like for me personally, Hunchback is like top five Disney movies for me. Yeah, I think I, it's I love that it. good. I think it's like so like supremely underrated. <laughs> it's, Although it's... I've only watched it like two or three years ago, right? So yeah, I know you rewatched yeah. it with me recently. Yeah, just um, recently. Yeah, but yeah, Hunchback is one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> like uh, for for the story, the like realistic villain. It's 
so weird. Um, I to have yeah. sex with a black lady. Yeah. <laughs> and and also like probably the number one thing is the music. Like the music is incredible in Hunchback. Right. Um, yes, it is. I don't know how in the world you could top the intro song to this movie. Yeah. It's it, that, unless it's they just make the intros. Intro. I, yeah. I love it how they introduced it as like he's telling the tale and they bring you into it and then it leads into the main story. Right. Yeah. Scary. Like, I, I legit have no idea how you could possibly top that. It is already it's already an A plus. What do you do? <laughs> they're they're yeah. gonna try to get the song because you know how Disney is. They're gonna, they're gonna go, okay, what's iconic here? The song, got it. Um, they'll probably put the card. Oh, uh, ma- you know what? <laughs> what's upsetting is that. I would have loved to see this if Tony J was still alive and he reprised his role, like in uh, live action. Because Tony J's voice is like so like distinct, iconic. yeah, yeah. distinct and uh, iconic. Festival. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I, I doubt the Topsy Turvy song is gonna be in, and I love that song. Yeah. <laughs> Turvy. This is really catchy. But I'm, one of my worries about this, though. I don't. If this movie's not rated PG thirteen in today's movie rating environment, then yeah. I feel like it's gonna be bad. The thing is, I, I don't know why they're doing this. It's, it's not gonna be PG thirteen. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why they're doing it because there are so many other like live action Hunchback stories that like tell the story more accurately. <laughs> right. They don't care about telling an accurate story. They're telling about they care about telling the Disney story. Which, yeah. to be honest, Hunchback does not need a Disney adaptation. It worked. Yeah, it it didn't need way. one before, like it the did, animated it one, but one. it right. it somehow it, happened. <laughs> like if your objective is to get the the actual like nuances of the book and and the severity, then Disney's not the way you want to go with that. Yeah, I don't even know how in 1996 this movie was rated G. I got to be completely honest. How? <laughs> yeah, is it, how? it really is G when they say it's L. G. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's G. Hell, or, eternal or damnation. Yeah, yeah, the uh, damnation, eternal damnation. It's like my mom. I remember this vividly. Took my sisters, my well, my older sister, myself, uh, and then a neighborhood kid across the street, Cody, and his mom. We all went to go see the movie. And my mom and her friend were like, "What? what you know, what's going on?" Like they're saying hell and damn. And we left the theater after it was over, and they're like, "We did not like that movie. It's so bad." <laughs> <laughs> and now in hindsight, I'm like, "Oh." Yeah, and it was really yeah, geez, that's, that's surprising <laughs> yeah i have no idea how but like the what it's what the movie's contents now would be released as pg-13 in today's environment like i, I yeah. really feel like it it's so too rapey I, i'm just being yeah, real it's, it's too rapey it is, for yeah. a disney audience i mean that's some that, that's so what they're gonna do especially in this climate of people where it's just like right. hey, why are you doing that in so theater? well, well, well what are they gonna you, do then i well they could they could actually take it head on and go you know, this guy's hit, hitting on her, but he's also, you know, like, bad guy, so we'll portray him as such. You know, the bad guy is, is you know, being laid out as a piece of shit, and he gets fucked. We were like, good, he deserved burned it. alive in lava, so that's good. Uh-huh. It's not going to uh-huh. top the animated one. No, I don't think any live-action film from Disney is going to top one, unless it's, like, The Black Cauldron or something that already has, like, the bar set low. So it's, like, no, yeah. the live-action one could be improvement. I I was surprised when I found out how many people actually love the Sword in the Stone. I'm like, really? Really? That's your, that's your favorite? Or, yeah. Who are those people? Like, or, uh, angry or, video game nerd. His favorite Disney movie is the Sword in the Stone. I'm like, really? <laughs> you can have the Lion King. Come on now. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but I do enjoy it from time just because Archimedes cracks me the fuck up. With yeah, mainly because like I, I could see that one being remade because like it's mm. the movie itself isn't really about the Sword in the Stone. <laughs> it's not. It's, it should be called Merlin and Arthur go on adventures. That's it. <laughs> It, it's it's weird. If it's so segmented, where it's like yeah, the only part it, it of the movie almost feels like the fucking magic school bus. <laughs> the only part that like uh, focuses on the sword in the stone is like the very beginning and the very end. I like the part where the kid's voice matures and he goes Merlin, Merlin. Eventually, he's like Merlin. They <laughs> changed the kid's actor like three times. That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> the kid hit puberty. And they're like fuck. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That squirrel scene always made me laugh too. Yeah. Yeah, he like broke that squirrel's heart. Yeah, he was, like, <laughs> right. the tree. I, I was such an evil little boy because that cracked me up, and everyone in the class was looking at me like, "What's wrong with you?" I was like, <laughs> All right. Um, um, you, 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 you ever think that Arthur's like, he's like, "Oh my god, my wife's being a bitch today." 
hey, Merlin, can you turn me into a squirrel? <laughs> take off for the night. He's got a side chick family, you know, the squirrel in his chair. The squirrel man. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes yeah, you gotta get wood. <laughs> yeah, wow. better. That's better. I like your fun better, man. That's better. <laughs> uh, shit, dude. Uh, <laughs> all right, a couple more things, and then we'll move on to Q and A. Um, there, there was a Playmobil teaser. No Playmobil. <laughs> Playmobil dildo te- teaser. Oh dear. Um, Be yeah. careful when you do your review, because that uh, that company gets vicious over their copyright shit. Playmobil. I, I, I just I removed that all the trailer out of my video for 2019 because they were like, no, ours. Mm. It's like what, some European what, company. What's, what? What? What studio is making it, and what company is distributing it? Uh, distributing it. I'll look it up. Yeah, we'll keep talking. I'll look but it up. it's coming out later this year, like in like August or something, something like that. Uh, it's coming out in fall. Onyx, um, Onyx Films. Yeah, but... distributed by distributed by Wild Bunch Germany. Huh. It's a bunch of European con- uh, uh, countries. Is Playmobil a European property? I think so. Well, there you go. I mean, that's why. Lego Movie wouldn't have done that to me. They're also European. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the Playmobil's from Germany, so there you go. Yeah. And uh, Lego's from what, like Denmark, I think. Um, but yeah, um. Playmobil, it's it, after the scene, the trailer. I'm like, this is so obvious. It's like trying to be the Lego Movie. <laughs> it, it is Denmark, by the way, you're right? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's painful. I mean, right down to the fucking like, like the different animals and creatures and people and and from different like sets. It's like no Lego Movie did this to have fun and be creative. You guys are doing this to sell fucking toys. All right, like if you can make a legitimate good movie. That can sit on its own two legs and have its own story. It's unique with fun characters, like the Lego Movie did. Then you know, cool. Then sell your shit. That's fine. Lego's fucking awesome. Playmobil, on the other hand, it's like, it's like, yeah, like, <laughs> it's, you, you know, you, you, Lego. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's Connex. That's oh, whoa! <laughs> Connex complaining, <Man>. my friend. <laughs> no, I would rather see a Connex movie than a Playmobil movie. <laughs> I'm a Connect kid. Don't don't hate. <laughs> I, I Connect to me that giant like fucking tower ball thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's um, great. Yeah. When is there going to be the Mega Bloks movie? Uh, oh God, Mega Bloks. <laughs> hey, what are you poor? <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling Lois that that Mega Bloks and Lego are not the same thing. <laughs> That old family guy joke. Yeah, family guy. Yeah, family family guy joke. Family joke. The, the, the like the amalgamation of her like, well, God, I guess I'll have to use the Mega Bloks and combine it with Lego. Yeah, like, I had like this dinosaur Mega Bloks. I had this dinosaur Mega Bloks set, and like every time I would like put them together with my Lego, I was like, man, these like don't connect as well. <laughs> <laughs> Connects as well. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right one you last thing what connects is that like they sometimes when they, like you look at the manual and they have like the like snap this piece onto this piece. oh Not yeah like those are like, like snap so... it. that's like really hard to do. yeah and sometimes you're like How? and you break it and you're like god damn it right. <laughs> I, I don't like the snappy for it it's not very comfortable yeah oh speaking of lego uh i got these um my egos. <laughs> no, I got this this set Lego with uh, with Reinhardt and um and Diva. Look how cool they are. Did you, oh yeah, you Reinhard, made Reinhardt. That's yeah. a big boy. Yeah, I put Diva like on top of her mech. It's really neat. Mm-hmm. You think Reinhardt goes to the gym? He's jacked as yeah. fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me rephrase. That wasn't even so much like do you think. It was me, more me like trying to bring up the, co- to the topic of discussion that Reinhardt goes to the gym, my guy. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's beefy as fuck. <laughs> he doesn't have a neck. <laughs> That's funny for you. <laughs> Gotta go sideways through doors. <laughs> so far, oh yeah, uh, Jacob in the chat said, now I'm just waiting for the Simpsons prediction of, the t- of a tic-tac-toe movie to come true. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, one last thing before we go on to Q&A. Um, let's talk about a thing that, um, uh, three of us here are a part of. Um, uh, Toon Clash is a new thing. 
that uh that we started up with uh, Cosmodor, um and Pan Pizza. Yeah. And uh, it, it's this show that's on Cosmodor's is being uploaded uploaded to the Cosmodor's channel right now. Um, the first bracket is going to be on his channel. It's with Cartoon Network shows. And here's our bracket right here. It's kind of hard to see if if it's like on YouTube, but um, he has a playlist for uh, Toon Clash, and it's uh, the top sixteen like voted Cartoon Network shows. Um, like a while back, like we all like posted like on Twitter and stuff uh, this poll with a ton of Cartoon Network shows, uh, Cartoon Car- Cartoon Network originals, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be this bracket. And, like every episode, we debate. Or and talk about which cartoon is better, and then we uh, the five of us vote on it, and whichever one wins moves on to the next round. So mm-hmm. yeah, there are six episodes out so far. Um, so the 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 episodes we have out are Gumball versus Courage, Dexter versus We Bear Bears, um, Chowder versus a- OKKO, uh, Kids Next Door versus Regular Show. Flapjack versus Billy and Mandy, and Steven Universe and Powerpuff Girls. And then the next one, the next two um, for the next couple weeks are going to be um, Samurai Jack versus Ed, Ed and Eddie, and Foster's Home versus Adventure Time. So, and this is the uh, the Cartoon Network bracket. Um, I guess for in the next couple of months it'll be done. Uh, then we're going to try to move on to Nickelodeon. Nick, 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 Nick. Nickelodeon. But it's 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 been a lot of fun doing it, and it's going to yeah, be yeah, has been a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, there there, there are some on. moments that haven't come out yet that get pretty intense. Yeah. So yeah, especially <laughs> yeah. one of them. One of them was just pure racism. That's all I take it as. <laughs> <laughs> well, as five white men. Yep, you know, exactly. <laughs> I'm only a quarter white, so I'm only a quarter right the quarter of the time. Oh, there we go. Oh God. Yeah, so um, if you want to go look it up, look up Toon Clash. Uh, Toon Clash on Cosmodor's channel. Yeah, it comes Toon out Clash every on... Sunday at what time, Paleo? I don't know. Sometime in the afternoon. All the time. <laughs> All the time. I, I, think, I think he uploads Sunday. them at noon uh, around that time. Every Sunday at noon. Be sure to check Cosmodor's channel for a new Coon Clash where we make Coons clash. <laughs> I, I thought you said do. Coon Clash. <laughs> He, he oh, does. yeah. Oh, yes, a master. No, you're a Sashi. <laughs> it really sounded like you said that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. But what, are we, is this because of Rigby? You freaking racist. <laughs> uh-huh. Stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> you, uh, Hero, can you believe what? I'm going to tell him what you said. So, Hero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hero, put your headphones on. I want to tell you something. All right, Hero, can you believe what they just said? Fuck. <laughs> they. Okay. Shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mask came off. Whatever it came off. Uh, Hero, can you believe they said that when we argue, it's called the most racist thing ever? I didn't say that. Gosh, but <laughs> it's like so bad. <laughs> and I was like, Paleo, I thought I was your friend. And you were just like, that's. <laughs> Uh, hey, A, B, D, A, K. I abstain. <laughs> Alright, so, um, we'll move on to Q&A now. Uh, if you want to ask us questions, you can ask us on Twitter. Our Twitter, Twitter, Twitter handles Twitter. are right there. Or you can use the Super Chat and I'm going uh, to ask us on Super Chat. Y'all go for back. So, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No. Nope. Go tank, go. I'm going to pee on the floor. Just pee in a bottle. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pee in a bottle. So, yeah, our, our Twitter handles are right here. Um, and we do have a, a Super Chat, um... Uh, Del18, I still have your super chat from earlier when the, the stream crashed during the pre-stream. Um, so, uh, he asks, uh, if you got, uh, if you could be the best at any sport while ignoring the risk of in- injury and average salary, which sport would you pick? Fighting. Oh, Fighting, duh. Because it's just like, if you have, if you're like known to be this big ass fighter, no one wants to fuck with you. It's just like, oh shit, that guy's like the top fighter of the world and he doesn't get hurt what he does. I don't want to mess with that guy. No, actually that's a lie. There are some crazy people who like will look at like Mike Tyson and be like, I could kick your ass now. And it's just like, you dumbass. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Yep. Uh, um, uh. I guess like diving or swimming just so, because I'm, I'm actually, Despite the fact that I love the ocean and stuff, I'm not a very good swimmer. Um, really? So, yeah. Um, like I can, can keep, I can life? keep myself. I can save my life and stuff. Like to keep myself from drowning or whatever. But I'm not mm-hmm. like fast, or or and oh, I, it's okay. it's very hard for me to dive because I'm like too buoyant. <laughs> oh okay. 
So like if you but could you move if you like felt like oh shit I'm in danger? Yeah, like, yeah enough I could do to that. save yourself. Yeah. Like where you like let's say there's like this guy who's swimming next to you and then you both see like oh shit you're both bleeding or something and a shark's coming and it's like you know sharks even though they don't eat people they like to get that nick they like to get that little <laughs> that yeah. nick and then they swim away like they do that thing they stare at you and then they like snatch and run and it's like crazy like could you out swim him a shark no the, the guy oh the guy <laughs> my oh. whole thing is like you have to outrun the person you're with like i don't oh to oh be faster than I, I don't know i don't i don't know if i could uh, it depends if they're a good swimmer or not <laughs> Would you like try to like get them eaten instead? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right, we have a few more super chats here um, from Tyler. Uh, who you guys uh, voting for in the Crunchyroll Anime Awards? Oh yeah, I forgot there was Dragon Ball Super Broly. What like, what what, 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 an, what, what, anime, what anime came out last year that I watched? Well, like anime of the academia. Uh, the the anime of the year. Yeah. Oh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. And I didn't watch anime last year, though. <laughs> Agretzko. There you go. <laughs> I watched Agretzko. <laughs> yeah. Is that even, that's not... Oh, I'm looking at it right now. That's not an anime of the year nominee. Well, what's the nominees? Uh, a Place the nominees. Farther Than the Universe. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Success. A Place Farther or Further Than the Universe, Devilman, Crybaby, Megalobox, Violet Evergarden, Hinamatsuri, and Zombie Land Saga. I heard that Hinamatsuri was really okay. good. I've, I've watched a bit of Zombie Land something. Saga. Here, can I tell funny. you something? What's up? I really like the way you pronounce the Japanese words with like that accent. I don't know how to say it, but you make it sound like so fluent. I am I am not even joking. It's not on purpose. Because like legit when I talk about Naruto to people, I'm like, yeah, Naruto. And they're like, how Yeah, do you say like Sasuke? You say it's like Sasuke. Naruto. And everyone else is like, Naruto. <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> Naruto. Like, I don't know. It's it, it's like oh, it sounds so like maybe to say, but like genuinely it's not on purpose. Naruto. I, don't know. I need to oh, that. Oh yo! Oh, oh. Hmm. What's, okay, what's Jax, I have to ask you, um, because there's a best fight scene presented by Capcom. I don't know why. Presented but, um, by Capcom? Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, Marvel um, versus Capcom. But there you go. <laughs> so there's Jiren versus Goku. Is that, like, a ridiculously good fight? Uh, is it Ultra Instinct? Does it show the picture? Or is yeah, it he, has, just... he has blue hair. Okay, okay. okay. if he has blue hair. hair, then that's not the good one. If he has his black hair, that shit was hype as fuck. Like, no, when he's, like... he has his blue hair. Oh, okay, then. Because the other the other one that's here, that, I mean, there's six here, but there's the Naruto vs. Sasuke versus oh, yeah. Momo, well, Momo Ski, that and wins. that is... That, that wins. It's such a good fight. Oh! Yeah, because here's that the thing. No, I agree with you right there, because, like, the Goku versus Jiren fight, I mean, it was cool when it happened, but it was just, like, when you break it down, it's just, like, a bunch of dodging and, like, all right, I'm not getting hit, and it was, like, it was cool mm -hmm. when it happened, and they had this, like, fucking gotcha, gotcha, da, 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 like, music playing, and it was, like, hype as hell, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, Naruto, what I love about it is the choreography, the martial arts mm -hmm. choreography. They were doing slips and they were doing the kung fu and that was just right. beautiful. And then it was just so much put into that fight scene that they added and they, I didn't think that they were going to add. So I give that the win. I give that the win. Right. Yeah, we'll see. And that's the one I'm most interested in, actually. I want to see what wins that. Yeah, it should be that one easily. Mm -hmm. Cause like nothing, like I mean, I love my hair academia, but it is just <laughs> let's punch you harder and you'll go unconscious. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Force. <laughs> All right. Um. Another super chat here from Nicholas Walker. Uh, have you guys seen the final season of Voltron? I haven't. Uh, I've, I'm watching. I, I, it right I now. haven't like seen all of Voltron. I'm, I'm in like six super episodes behind. Yeah. yeah, six episodes into it, and uh, I see what they're doing with the progressiveness, but like that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. A little dirt never hurt nobody. Yeah, a little dirt never, a little mud never hurt nobody. Oh, it hurt my <laughs> I don't know. Nasty. All right. Girl, you were eight years old. Uh, <laughs> right. Jacob Juarez asks, uh, what are your thoughts on the new Carmen San Diego cartoon? I really liked it and can't wait for more. I haven't seen it yet. It uh, it's on Netflix, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a new cartoon. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? It's by the people who did Tangled, the designs. Is I, it? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I am curious to see what happens. I'm not like excited or not excited. I'm just curious, I guess. Well, uh, I used to play Carmen San Diego on my Windows 95 machine. It was great. <laughs> I never found where in the world she was. Ever. It was a game. <laughs> 
It was a game? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, and her lover Waldo. Remember the TV like, show? Really yeah. yeah, I do. The 90s <laughs> one. That was like a really hyped mm. TV show. The intro of that. Oh, God. I remember the Where's Waldo TV show, too. Where he, like, he, would, just be, like, <laughs> he would just like randomly disappear. And he'd be like, where's Waldo? And it's just like, no, it could be like in the middle of a plot point. Like, Waldo, what do you think? Well, drinking water is great for this. Well, yeah, what do you, where do you go? Where's Waldo? And it's just like the most random thing of how he did it. It was, just, it was silly. I was going to ask Saber too, but he, he sat, he stood back up. Now he's sitting yeah, back down. On. Oh, there so you go. Right Hi, Saber, what do, what do you think about the new Sandin Kanyango? Sandin Kanyango? Sandin Kanyango? I you asked it. it. <laughs> mm. I was really embarrassed. Well, what do you think about Carmen San Diego? Not this Sandin lady. Never watched it. Don't care, really. <laughs> okay. Sandin Carmiego. <laughs> Sandin Carmiego. <laughs> <laughs> so incorrect. <laughs> oh, God. Sandin Carmiego. Uh, that's so beautiful. That that's... is just one of those beautiful. I see. Uh, Cartoon Network Fanatic says Did you guys see PewDiePie's better version of YouTube Rewind? Yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> it had a bunch of um, like uh, like YouTube poopers and stuff like make the the rewind. It was like actually really good. Uh-huh. well, not YouTube poopers really. They they just make me- memes a lot, like Grand Day and uh. No, uh, they're 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 yeah. what you would call poopers if they, you know, pooper. <laughs> I mean, everybody's a pooper. <laughs> Everyone has to poop sometimes. Well, let me disappear then. <laughs> Everyone can be a pooper. You can be a pooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, speaking of Spider-Man, Cards of Network Fanatic also asked, did you know that Spider-Man PS4 added the Sam Raimi suit into the game? Yeah, I, I, I did. Yeah, um, it was fucking I, I still need to get the DLC and play through it. Oh, dude, um, you haven't played through the DLC yet? Uh, no, I haven't played through it yet. Oh, uh, dude, you get the get Spider-Verse it. suit, too. Cool. And your eyes is, like, is it is cool. it is, is it is it kind of like style. the um the the comic book suit where it's kind of like cell shaded or or what? Oh, uh, it's basically the the one they had in the movie for Spider Verse is pretty much the suit. And what's cool about it is like the eyes move like the movie. So like uh-huh. when he like winces, like when, when before it would be like all tech stuff. Like when yeah. he like looks at it, he's like Kingpin, what are you doing? And his eye will like, get big on one side and do that. And it's yeah. just like oh, that's really cool. So yeah, huh. it's just the Spider Verse suit game. All right. Uh... Uh, thoughts on Jordan Peele's upcoming movie Us? I haven't seen the trailer for that yet. I need to watch it. Neither have I. Mm. If it's anything like Get Out, it'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Is it about black people in trouble again? <laughs> I mean, is it? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. It's a documentary. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's just life. <laughs> um. Uh. Nathaniel asks, uh, "Are you guys going to Mom- Momocon this year?" Yes. We're 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 uh, speakers or whatever, um, panelists, guests. Well, look, yeah. well, y'all are. I'm I'm just going, man. <laughs> oh, you're going officially. You're not uh, doing that. Yeah. Anymore? Okay, good. Good. Uh, good. I'll go. That's right, you are. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already excited when Hero walks into the gaming room and just destroys everybody. Yeah, and then he's gonna meet this hot Asian girl, and she's like, "You play good." Take me on, and it's just gonna be like it's done. She's got like a belly shirt showing, and her abs are nice. And she's like, I legitimately have not played a fighting game since Chronicon. Cool. So it's know. gonna be like it's gonna be like you like or like you get defeated in the first round, and you just kind of smirk and like hmm, I'm a bit rusty, and then you just destroy the second round. Why are you making my life into an anime? That's what, <laughs> it is. That's what you would do though. It's just like uh, just so, warming up. Oh, since you said you haven't played a fighting game since Bronicon, that that means it's officially confirmed. Smash is not a fighting. Smash game. is not a fighting. Yeah, game. yeah. <laughs> Man, okay. It's... <sighs> Don't make me this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I I think Smash is a fighting game. So sure, I played a fighting game. Uh, it's not a fighting game because I play it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's also Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Ryan Walsherson asks, uh, thoughts on John Lasseter heading to Skydance Animation? I just know that Skydance, because it, it's like a new animation studio, because like Skydance makes like the Mission Impossible films and like a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I didn't know they were making like an animation studio. 
I think they saw the bargain. That, by the way, preface this: if John Lasseter is guilty of what he did, then what he do he should be uh, sexually harassing people. Oh shit! Allegedly, I say that because there hasn't been a, a trial, an investigation. It's and the thing is, if I, I don't want to dismiss the allegations either, if they're true, but it's one of those things where it's like it's all a mess. It's all a fucked up mess. And I think John Lasseter should have just retired, but I guess not. I don't know. Go figure. Hmm. Whatever. It, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah. All right. Uh, Santo Salinas, isn't it crazy to think that Kingdom Hearts 3 is actually coming out next Tuesday? I still don't believe it. Not until that game is in my hand. Well, honestly, even when it's in my <laughs> PS4, even when it's in my PS4, before I turn it on, this is like not. A, and then you play it and then you wake up. And then, like, the, right, yeah. <laughs> the last 13 years have been a dream. The game's not coming out. I'm, I still stand by it. The game doesn't come out. It's, it's going to get I know. Delayed. Well, I, it's more believable to me than Half-Life 3, so. Uh, <laughs> that yeah, game is actually never coming out. No, that's <laughs> never coming out. <laughs> Literally, actually, never. Uh, it would have to be a fan, have to be a fan game. It would have to be yeah. made by, by fans, which, even then, would be a long shot, because it's a like, that's gonna be hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ryan asks, thoughts on uh, Jason Reitman directing the Ghostbusters movie that's a sequel to the originals? I, I, I was, I'm surprised that they're retrying so fast. I don't care. I just want Ecta Cooler back. That's it. That's all, <laughs> I want. that's all I'm interested for. You're like, I want the product. <laughs> yes. I don't care about any so of this. Somebody's like, yes. No, I, I don't care. I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of Ghostbusters in general, you know. I just like the song. I don't even like that. Like, that part's cool. I just like. Bust it makes me feel good. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It does. Let's see. Bustin if there was an Into the Spider Verse game, what genre would you like it to be? A platformer, open world fighting game, or a retro beat 'em up? Like yeah. the freaking Spider Man game yeah. they had. Like yeah. the one they they just had recently. That was a great yeah. game. Yeah. It's just, except for like you just I, you just play as like the, the different characters, like switch between yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, they they have Oh, I want a dating, a dating simulator. Sim- dating simulator? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> By the way, you got a super chat in case you didn't see. Oh, let's see. Oh, Jacob Juarez again uh, asks, uh, "What 2019 cartoon are you guys most hyped for?" Infinity Train, I guess. Uh, I might already came. Uh, Young Justice. That was what I was most hyped for, and it finally came. Mm-hmm. So I'm watching that right now, and it's fucking amazing. Waiting for uh, Owl House personally. Yeah, that one looks yeah. really cute. I, I want to see that one the most. Uh, it's so fucking cold in my state. Ah. <laughs> All right, uh, Major Mekazawa asks thoughts on Netflix streaming uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion this spring. I, I I saw that people were like freaking out about this, and I don't understand why. Uh, is it because like the rights to to Evangelion is are weird? I guess. I, I think know. that's what it is because, like, it took forever for it to be online. And also, the dub is not that great when you think of it like, wait! Don't hold back when he was punching him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that series. All I know is there's, it's weird. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I didn't Jason, know that was that funny, Saber, dang. No, so Jason, no, it wasn't Saber. Saber's not that funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Jason asks, did you see that Soldier Boy's uh, album album cover is traced from Johnny Tess and uses a background from Star vs. the Forces of Evil? Oh my god, it's so, like, dumb. dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, it's so stupid. He it's already, like, like did his friggin', like, game console thing that he got in trouble for, and now there's mm. this. Is like, what the fuck? Like this looks terrible. <laughs> Such a dumbass. Just be go, yeah. be rich, and leave us alone. Just go. Right. Leave us <laughs> alone. Stop the money. Stop. Like stop. Yeah, so your boy can eat a dick, man. That guy's just an asshole. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. How <laughs> yeah, he like specifically knew that John Tron called him out? He's like a bunch of lip dick assholes. I don't give a fuck about them. And it's like, oh, you're gonna get sued by Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. You live in America, they're gonna fucking find your ass. <laughs> um, Cartoon Bro asks, uh, what are your thoughts on Camp Laszlo? Um, 
fucking one of the shows that brought down Cartoon Network. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I straight up will say this. Like, all right, so I, I'm, to I'm me, pretty mad on the show. See, okay, so for me, I remember I was in love with Cartoon Network, and I loved the Cartoon City aspect. And I was like, oh, this show's fucking great this is great but then once they added like fucking camp laszlo and my gym partner's a monkey i was like these are like the downfall ones these is when cartoon network started to go downhill i was like fuck you two get out of here you fucking mad bastards yeah, i don't i don't uh, like all right i'm gonna hijack this question for a sec go ahead. um because the ghost kidney seven reminded me yeah has been hotel is coming out in 2019 is that, that already fully animated Fully? I, d- I don't know, but it's it's coming out in 2019, so I've heard. And, Hopefully. Uh, that, yeah, that artist is, like, super like talented. Top, like, top two of my favorite artists ever. <laughs> I love that artist's, like, style. So, That's yeah, great. looking forward to that one, too. Um, and another question from Cartoon Bro. Uh, would you make a reboot of Johnny Bravo? Could what you say like of? It would go so poorly these days, unfortunately. <laughs> so it, would, it wouldn't work in this climate. It would work as an adult cartoon because people would be like, because if Drawn Together could get away with some shit. Then that yeah. Would... <laughs> Which is, it, it's so odd too because like part of the point of the show is to talk about how much of like a horrible a person Johnny is. He's a pig. Is. Yeah. Right. It's, they, it's intended to like to, to shit on him being a pig. But unfortunately people wouldn't see past the surface and just be like, and he's a pig, we're perpetuating, blah, 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 blah. It wouldn't work. As much right. as I'd like to see it come back. Um, and then the final one from Cartoon Bro and this, uh, uh, what, Saber, would you do a video on what ruined Hanna-Barbera? Doing it next month. <laughs> cool. I have, I have it on my whiteboard over there on the wall. I'm doing it next month. But that is a studio that def- definitely had a rise in, I mean, it's still around, but like, it, it was like the Rise and <laughs> yeah, Rise, Fall, and then went plateaued. Because it's like, it's funny because there's that entire joke where they're like, what if somebody rips off our sh- our shows and makes copycats? They're like, we'll do it. <laughs> In a row. It's <laughs> like, they can't rip us off. We rip ourselves off first. Ha! Huh? Take that. <laughs> um, Got a couple more super yeah, chats here Um, from Del18. So last week I was going to ask this, but what is your opinions on... uh? YouTube removing every last text annotations uh, from January 15th. Um, I don't care. What, the only thing is, like, it's going to only affect, like, my really old videos. And on some of those, I have, like, corrections that I put in for something stupid I said. <laughs> so, if it's that old, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm just being real. Though, if the it, thing it, is, it, like, it, I, it, I also put that in the, in the comments and description, too, so... It doesn't matter. Annotations yeah. were just, and also they weren't really compatible with, um, cause they're moving more into mobile devices. Like mobile devices are the main way people watch their videos nowadays. Like yeah. with your- And annotations didn't work on mobile devices, but now, now the cards and uh, the end screens do. So you the people yeah. can see my butt when I use the annotation to cover my butt when I streak down the video. What? No, your your channel's gonna delete it, dude. Oh man. No, yeah. man. No, I'm being serious. Cause there was this one video I did where uh, I was- That's child pornography. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I shut the butt off, man. Okay, I covered it with annotations. Get rid so. of it, man. I'm reporting it for you right now. No, you better not. Reported. I worked off my squatter booty. Whatever. They like it. Uh, <laughs> Lomaniac89 uh, has a super chat here. Hype for Moomin, Peter No Tail, seen Bombsy yet? I don't know what any of those are, except for Moomin. <laughs> I know what Moomins are. Hmm. I don't know what any of those are. I'm sorry. Because I know they're do- doing, like, a Moomin thing. This year. Um, uh, Malik Webster asks, uh, what anime do you think would work as a Hollywood live action adaptation? Personally, I think Black Lagoon or Durarara uh, could be phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> One Punch Man is pretty easy to do. You just got a bald guy and then. <laughs> just get Vin Diesel and like. You got a bald guy, you have half of it done already. <laughs> there you go. Pretty easy. Can I can I pause it. for a second? Oh, I want to say something. So we're talking about Soldier Boy, and I'm like, what's his net worth? I want to see it. And it's at thirty million dollars. And for some reason, the first thing my brain said was, "That's it." Because <laughs> 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 uh, I started looking at other net worth of other rappers and musicians. Eminem, two hundred million. Biggie Smalls is now accumulated to around one hundred sixty million. He's dead, but you know. The state's worth that much. 
I'm like, okay, these people are at kind of in the lower hundred millions, which means Soldier Boy is way down there compared to the other rappers. <laughs> but then you have Jay Z, who's almost a fucking billionaire. <laughs> but it's then you have Jess, Jeff Bezos, who's worth like forty-seven billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and he had to split it because he broke up with his wife. <laughs> yeah, which essentially makes her the richest woman in the world, like that. Mm. Let, let that soak in. You become the richest woman in the world because you divorce the richest man in the world. <laughs> I gotta marry a rich man, guys. It's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. Can you imagine being that rich? To yeah. yourself. Yeah. Billions of dollars. They're just like, uh, what, what would you do with it, Jax? Uh, buy so much porn. Uh, God, let me see. Uh, what you else? Cut that part out if you want to get demonetized. Oh, no, I'm joking. Uh, let me see. Uh, what would I do? Because right, honestly, at that point, you have eternal freedom. Like, you don't have to worry about anything. You can literally just sit on your ass for the rest of your days and do whatever you want. It's just like uh, any every any money I make from YouTube would just go to charity because it's just like I don't have yeah. nothing. Or, I, or I'd fund, like, 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 scientific endeavors pretty much. Yeah. I go travel a lot. Uh, I just, you know, do what I want to do whenever I want to do it. Like, I could just have, like, the most... If, if I had, like, but... billions and billions of dollars, I would definitely, like, try to fund different scientific endeavors. You could go to space. Just because... You'd have all these lab coat people just in your driveway. We'd be like, oh, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need funding. I was like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you yeah. related to cetaceans in any way? <laughs> like, nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh god, that'd be great. What anime would I think would work as a Hollywood live action adaptation? <sighs> I don't You know what? Uh a lot of shoujo anime I think would work because there's no need to uh, I feel like that's just believable like content, you know, it's just like people go into school, girl falls in love with a guy, the guy she thinks she's not pretty enough for the guy or something like that. I mean uh, they're doing a your game thing. Also. Yeah, just just yeah. like really typical shoujo stuff, like Kimi ni Todoke or I don't know what that is. I guess Kimi ni Todoke is literally the the, the premise. Kimi I just a girl who thinks she's ugly and is not good enough for a guy. She like likes him, oh. but and she's like super yeah. hot and it's just like, yeah. oh, like that girl from fucking Ready Player One who's like, don't look at me. Oh, it's just like you just got a fucking like dot on your eye. <laughs> yeah, like you're not ugly. Oh god, it's so disgusting. Just shut up. God damn it. All right. It's um, so, like, no, it's so funny for real when, like, you're watching an anime and the character's like, I'm not attractive. I'm like, you are hot as fuck. What are you talking about? <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, it's one of those things. All it's right. So um, Kelly B asks, uh, question to Jax, but also the rest. Uh, since you do multiple co- podcasts, um, what's the, the different prep for each one, like your one with Katie or the gang's semi-perfect podcast slash Toon Clash? And if you want, uh, uh, which one is the most fun? Well, that's think, different. I think they're all fun. But yeah, I think they're yeah. all fun because it's like, okay, first off, um, it's a different dynamic. Like, um, I'm more of a extrovert, uh, and these guys, I love them all to death, and anyone ever touched them, I would fuck them up really badly. So uh, it's just like one of those things where uh, they, they're more introverted. Like, they're more like, oh, I just want to chill here, do that, whatever. So, like, when me and Katie, like, talk to, to each other, it's different. Like, we're both extroverts. It's just like, yeah, you remember this one time? Yeah, you remember this one? And it's just back and forth, back and forth. And then, like, um, for instance, if I say a pun here, these guys will be like, Ugh, God damn it, Jordan. And it's like, whatever. But then, like, if I do it with Katie, it's like a back and forth, like, yeah. Yeah, well, this. Yeah, well, this. And we'll keep going until one of us can think of one. And it's, it, it's a different dynamic. I love both of them. Uh, Toon Clash is really fun because you get to talk about yeah, cartoons. Yeah, Toon Clash has really been really fun so far. Uh, just yeah. like comparing and, and talking about like the cartoons we've seen because like we have we've all seen them. So yeah, we've seen them uh, in depth. So it was, yeah, you know, it was really fun. Uh, this is fun because it's just like oh, it's nerdy stuff. You get to talk about various things. These guys are all yeah. my friends, so I can like. I'll say that the Semi Perfect Podcast is different because like. <laughs> race is heading that one so mm-hmm. it takes longer <laughs> <laughs> and then does gabe show up on time yeah. sometimes <laughs> okay not all the time does he he shows up either like really late or like after the podcast is done <laughs> uh, right see and then like we got uh, katie like it, oh my god like the last few ones we had like we would go from like these oh this is really deep and touching and stuff like that and like if you were a girl would you like 
do this like to a guy's thing if you could do this like a stupid shit like oh, like oh like if winnie the pooh was real and broke into your house what would you do i have a panic attack well why are you having a panic attack? it's winnie the pooh shut up jordan and just like <laughs> that so it's really fun They're yeah pooh bear breaks into my house he's fucking going down Wait, would you not have it's just would a bear break out? it's just a bear it's not, he's no, no that's not bear. that's not fucking normal it's for death. You're my home. Oh, you're come dead. on, Saber. Come on, Saber. Let's go. I'll stab it. Okay. Oh, you're here. You're, you're Who's dead? Getting... Humans Oops. at our core were like kill or be killed. I, I saw Winnie the Pooh walk into my house. I I would, yeah, would like, Could you help yeah, me get home? I I was my house first off. It's a fucking bear. <laughs> it, it's a stuffed yeah. animal bear, too. It's like it's not even a real bear. No, let's cartoon. If it's in my house, first of all, I got in here without permission. So that's problem number one. <laughs> problem number two, talking fucking stuff. Bear. All right. So you would just problem, kill it right away? Problem number three, he's animated. How? No, no I'm How talking about like, in here. the Winnie the Pooh one from, like, from Christopher Robin. Oh, yeah. Okay, like okay, that okay. one is just like, oh, excuse me, Andrew, could you help me get home? I think it's just, so weird when you're Why do you sound like Bane? Bane, <laughs> 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 Bane, Bane. <laughs> it's, it's so odd to be honey, you, Andrew. I need honey for my bum. So. <laughs> 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 well, if I could draw, I would draw Winnie the Pooh as Bane. Oh, God. Oh, well. Winnie the Bane! <laughs> Winnie the Bane. Okay, I'm, I'm naming that po oh. this podcast that then. Winnie the Bane! <laughs> Um, Enigma Royal Prince asks, what has been your best and worst meme of 2018? I hate memes. Um... <laughs> yeah, memes are stupid. Like, that's freaking, uh, what was it, that Sasuke meme that Butch Hartman killed within a day. <laughs> He's just like, hey guys, Danny Phantom's choking Sasuke yeah, down. Yeah, well, that was, was this like, year. Shut... Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> Wait, did he do that? that fucking, what, a, what an old fucking man. Oh, God. You guys I mean, forget, like... I, 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 I met Danny Phantom. Well, you know, there's. I'll, I'll tell you, forty-seven more times this week. I, 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 I like the memes that where people got creative, where people like started like drawing stuff. There, there's one that where like people just started making Spider-Man OCs after Spider Verse. Yeah. You mean the spider thing where they like put the hay thing and then everyone? Just uh, no, not not that one. That that is like a Spider Verse meme. But I'm talking about like people making their own like uh, spider person. Okay, I oh, I, th I think I have my answers. I mean, just I have a symbiote. Thing. Fuck spider zones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then there was also so Bowsette good. that came out. Oh, oh really okay. I'm sorry. That's why I could be Mr. Unfun. Okay. Bowsette's like by far. You my hate movie, artists? But... Is what you're saying? I, yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. I was just like, for the first day, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And the second day, it was exclusively like everywhere I went. I was just like, oh, <laughs> I wanted like other internet. But like, everything I followed just so happened to be that. Like, man. <laughs> so that yeah, there's there a couple of uh, stupid ones that came out. Like, the, like, skedaddle, skedoodle, your dick is now a noodle. That one was really dumb. Um, <laughs> like the, the, I like that one. That was a, just an ear blast one. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, uh, they did surgery on a grape. That one, like, that one didn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> the ones that don't make sense were, like, the ones I hate. Um, I loved Thanos memes. That, <laughs> Thanos, yes. Me. Thanos <laughs> yes, <great>. hasn't she? <laughs> The best kind of meme They're just is like quotes one... from the movie. It's great. Well the best kind of meme is the is one that can have a lot of application to it. Versus mm -hmm. things like the grape one, it's like, okay, it's old, it's your surgery in the grape. Or one that was lost on me, I think it was twenty sixteen, was the fucking uh here come that boy. I'm like, who yeah. fucking cares? Like, yeah. for, 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 uh, listen, and people who are listening, if you enjoy that meme, that's fine. Personally, I'm like I'm like I don't get it. It's just a frog on the unicycle. And hmm. uh, it doesn't seem like there's much you can do with it versus things like the Sasuke meme. Like you said, people start drawing the other hand. It's cool. Um, yeah. We well, live in a day like this... and age. Memes are like fucking light speed. They're going to be like, the new, like back in like the 3000s and shit like that. Those are going to be like the Egyptian t hieroglyphics. Yeah, memes used to be really slow, didn't they? Just like, yeah, yeah, it's, just their time it's, it's because, it's because really... social media hadn't really like taken off. Mm -hmm. Well, now yet. it's about yeah. accruing points and it's a rotating door versus because they, they used to originate on on four chan. Um, mm. That's where they used to originate. Now they originate everywhere. 
<laughs> the Y2 and Newgrounds had some, but like yeah. the, the old ones where it's like, hey, it's Star Wars Kid, or oh my god, it's Laughing Baby. And then it like, those things would exist for like years where it's like, yeah, I remember the oh, really, Al? Yes, I that, do. That is, I, that, 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 that is more than a decade old now. That's like from that 2000, like, like mid 2000s. <laughs> that was like my third meme, I'm pretty sure. Uh, my favorite one from 2018 was actually that. Uh, the the kid with the trumpet annoying his like sister. Oh yeah, uh, and people like people kept like making like yeah. different things with it, like in right, Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. I like I like I, yeah, that. like like you. I enjoy things where people can be creative. I agree yeah. that that way people can like raise the stakes, and it's like oh we're getting we're role plays, and also the different <laughs> things that you could do with it too. That mm -hmm. was another layer where it's like it's not just visually; it's it's there's music to it. And that's mm -hmm. that, that kind of narrows it down to where not everyone can do it. Right. Hmm. Right. Well, that makes you wonder what's next. Uh, the... It's always random. Hey, that one's kind of making the rounds a bit. It's burning out. Yeah. yeah the lifespan. Like, you remember so... that freaking, like, that, uh, what was it? The, the caveman SpongeBob oh! meme where you just, like, turn around? Yeah. Yeah, like that burned out. So that got... one, that one, that one came around twice because it, it. I remember yeah. it showed up in like 2014, the... and then it doubled back, and then it like was much larger. SpongeBob is full of memes. That shit will probably keep happening. Just keep looking through mm -hmm. SpongeBob. Yeah. Meme, but... mm -hmm. All right. Um. So we got a few more Twitter questions here. Uh, if you want to do any super chat questions, uh, we'll also answer answer those as we're going through. Um, so Dell18 asks, uh, your video has been claimed by a company and it has been is issued a policy on it. Uh, do you hope that company, let's see, monetize against it or track your video stats? What? I'm not sure if I, I understand. I, I, I'm not sure if I understand this poll, Dell18. The video has been. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't have those happen. Please don't jinx me. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> <Just Yeah. fingers> <laughs> <crossed>. <laughs> I use gifts. I don't use footage. There we go. That's the answer. Is that the answer? <laughs> Can convert all of the all of the videos we use in the gifts. Then they'll, they'll yeah. never get it. They don't. You can use as many gifts as you want, and they don't pick them up. <laughs> and then I start picking up. GIFs. Yeah, I know. Why did I say that? <laughs> Fuck. Why did I just say? <laughs> all right. Um, uh, Enigma Royal Prince asks. Uh, so Benji, uh, Benji, Bungie, <laughs> Benji. Bungie has left Activision and took Destiny, the Destiny property, with them to start their own company. How do you all see their journey turn out? Uh, I hope it turns out well for them. Destiny as a concept is really uninteresting to me. Which yeah, it is. <laughs> it's definitely the, the shootery part and not the MMO part, as I clearly to me it's both. <laughs> <laughs> very clearly, I enjoy MMOs, <laughs> but. I uh, I was told, I read that like people in the audience cheered when it was finally official, because uh, like <laughs> the audience. Was, what was that announced? I think it was at a conference or something. I don't know. Oh, I could okay. be wrong. Uh, I was reading on a Reddit post and someone like had a comment saying like, "Yeah, I was here for this." this people cheered. Oh, Activision. Okay. I mean, actually, I want to finish a sentence and I want to bring up something else quickly. Uh, but Activision, yeah, they they get greedy, and I it, it really sucks what they did to Blizzard. Like that hurts. I I hope Blizzard breaks away, but they're not. They make too much money through Activision, and they sit pretty. Uh, but uh, I saw people talking about EA recently and the Star Wars franchise, and how they're like, just they they scrapped a big yeah. Like, they they've world. they've probably a lot more games that they've scrapped that they just haven't told us about. Well, somebody who worked on that team said, like, yeah. this could have been the coolest game ever. It was fucking amazing. They scrapped it. And I, I just would love it if, if Bob Iger from Disney is like, hey, EA, uh, we're done. Like, this sucks. Yeah, you because made... the, their contract is, like, up in 2023, which is still a long time. So it, it's like they, they either just have to buy out of the contract they're like, here, EA, take the money. We're, we're getting Star Wars back. You're gonna, well, it's Star Wars. You bought Star Wars yeah. because of the toys and merchandise. You, you're you losing so much here. Yeah, and there's, there's, so there, there's that one Star Wars games. There's that one image where it shows, like, the Star Wars game from, like, games from the mid-2000s, and then <laughs> under EA, they had two. <laughs> they, it sucks, and, they, and they're both bad, two bad games. Like, or at least one, it was very bad, and one, like, was okay, but suffered from its uh, microtransactions. Yeah. Well, they both did but so it's, it's, I miss Battlefront without microtransactions. I miss, um, which, 
KOTOR is huge. KOTOR is uh, such a good game. I, I'm not even like that about Star Wars. It doesn't even matter. That game was good. KOTOR is a great game. You guys I like really that. call it KOTOR? Because I never heard yeah. that. I always heard Nice Old Republic every time. Like, they wouldn't say KOTOR. Yeah, like, yeah, this is the first know, time KOTOR. I'm like hearing it. That's Knights of the Old Republic is a mouthful. It's just called KOTOR. <laughs> Uh, okay, there's that, <laughs> the, there was uh, <laughs> that clone like special forces game that was really cool. No, there was a lot of cool shit made from Lucas uh, Arts on their own, but like now it's like EA doesn't give a fuck. They just want to make money, and they're failing at that even. So mm-hmm. you know. mm-hmm. apparently, yeah. when whenever that microtransaction shit happened with Battlefront two, they promised they wouldn't. They went back on it. The internet blew yeah. up on them. Bob Iger actually called EA, and they're, he's like, "What the fuck are you all doing?" Like when Dad calls, you're you're like, "Oh shit!" It's our boss. Like, mm-hmm. So I don't know. Um, hopefully, they change. Yeah. All right. Uh, Evan Emanuel asks, uh, "How good are you guys at drawing?" Um, I used to draw Bad. a lot, but I I very mm-hmm. very out of practice. Like I can I can draw a dolphin from memory, but that's about it. <laughs> Let me see if I can pick up that old DeviantArt I haven't logged into for literally ever. I don't draw I sew though. It's a shame because like, I talk about animation and I admit that I know very little about it, like from doing art, drawing art. I talk more about stories and characters and shit like that. But I told myself some more I do this year is learn more about the process of animation. If I can't even, if I can't do it myself, at least I can learn about it. Oh dear god, here we go. Ready? What? I want to hear it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh that's, lord. That's, oh that's, yeah, that that's one. my art. That's what's, probably the what, most what's so glaring drawn. about this is the cutie mark on the left. It's one. so radiant. Like, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Like the first. Oh jeez, where is it? Where's newest deviations browse gallery? This is the thing I drew in like. I think, yeah, I was in 10th grade. I love how the water isn't in Simba's mouth here. Like, you can't see through his white mouth right here. It's, oh, I, think it's, I think it's fine. I think it's great. I can't. It's, it's hard. Drawing is hard, man. Props to people who can draw for real. Absolutely. Um. Oh, yeah, Daily Teen um, clarified uh, in the chat. It says, what I meant to say is that when your video gets a copyright claim, for the most part, they take the ad revenue. I was wondering if they have the company take the revenue uh, if you would rather have the company take the revenue or track the video like track the stats of the video uh i'd say track the stats I, of the video i mean if I, whatever. If I, if I can get paid i'll yeah. take that <laughs> um and then we have another super chat here uh malik webster uh again uh, asks thoughts on jump force yeah it looks fun Oh, Jump Force? Oh, yeah, that shit looks hype as hell. They got all the characters. I just don't like the design of the the way they look. And I, I know they're not going to have a dub for that because that would just be a whole bunch of different type of bullshit. <laughs> I don't know, get... man. Sometimes things get dubbed and you're like, I am surprised that that is. <laughs> well, it's just like Naruto and Bleach and all these other companies are like different. Like, if it, they were all by Funimation, that'd be one thing. Because, like, I remember when me and Paleo watched that, uh, what was that show, Paleo, the Trigger Show? That we watched yeah, and like they space, space Patrol at Luluco? Yeah, and they yeah. changed uh, Lucy's voice. And yeah, I was just yeah. Like, oh, that's not Lucy's voice. I don't want them to do something like that with like Jump Force. And mm-hmm. so I mean, it's cool. I mean, like a bunch of power scalers are gonna have a. You mean like, Susie? There's no way Naruto would be able to. So Susie. Susie, Susie, not Susie. Lu- Lucy. Susie, yeah, Susie. Susie, yeah. It was awesome. There's no way Goku couldn't beat up Naruto and all this shit. All right. Um. See, Ryan S. Uh, ever w- walked out of the movie? Yep. Yep. I haven't. <laughs> like, I spent that money. I'm not trying. <laughs> it, it's one of those things where if, like, I start it, I need to finish it. <laughs> I, I walked I out bad of, enough. <laughs> too, I walked out of Beowulf, which, because it was just <laughs> so, I, I, was, I was expecting 300, didn't get it, and I hated that. And I was like, fuck this movie, it's ugly, and I hate it, and I left. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, the thing is, both of those ever happened, though, I, I was with friends, and then we all left. And then the second one was, like, McGruber, or something like that. It was, like, some SNL ca- character. Oh, yeah, McGruber. I hate that shit. We were watching, and I was like, I was like, can we go? This sucks. And uh, we left. It was a bad movie. The end. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Carson Bro asks, Dexter's Lab versus Jimmy Neutron. Your answer, please. I need to know. Uh, Dexter's Jimmy Lab. Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. Wow. I'm completely joking. <laughs> but, but, um, I was about to look at you like, you need to explain your points. Right <laughs> <laughs> In a fight, Dexter would clean the floor with Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they got more tech. Go, Dexter, a... family, go. Can Jimmy build a mech? Maybe. Jimmy's Jimmy's yeah, he... isn't in building a mech. He would have to use one of his inventions, like shrinking or sucking. Right. <laughs> you would have well, he would have to... <laughs> sucking. <laughs> well, no, okay, wait, wait, wait. Here's one thing that Jimmy would could do is he he turned himself into a fucking planet sized version of himself, so he could step on that thing if that happened. So there's that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um. Okay, we'll do a couple more here, and then we'll we'll stop. Uh. Head make sound effects. Oh, we got another super chat here from Connor Johnson. Uh, did you know there's a reference to the movie um, uh, RoboCop in an episode of Sailor Moon? I'm not joking. Uh, I didn't know that because I haven't seen a lot of Sailor Moon. I uh, do not know that. I've seen all of it. I d- don't. I didn't know that though. I don't know RoboCop. <laughs> uh, Sailor Moon's old dub is a gem. Sailor Moon is. That show is Wait, say, say, have, not have you seen good, Robocop? man. <laughs> I love it to death, but that show is not good. Not yeah, anymore. Rob- Robocop's fun. The no, old I, 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 I need to. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Amazing. But then, like, don't watch the sequels. I went back to watch some old Sailor Moon episodes. I was like, whew, nostalgia is what is carrying me through this right now. <laughs> oh, no, the dub isn't good. It's like when you no, watch the OG Pokemon dub. The OG, OG Pokemon, it was... Yeah, OG Yikes. Pokemon, OG Digimon, OG Yu-Gi-Oh, and like hell, some OG Dragon Ball Z. It's just like I just look at that as corny, nostalgic fun. If I want it <laughs> organically, I'll just like watch the Japanese version or read the manga. I don't care. But it's just mm. one of those things. Like it's just like I'm enjoying this because I love that whole thing. It's just like oh, this is for you, Neptune. Go bleach your roots, creep. Oh, fine then. <laughs> just fucking yells at him. Want to eat some jelly donuts? Why couldn't they just make them rice balls? Like that's an incredibly foreign that's idea. That's racist here, Sashi. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I noticed it's... something about Japanese and their cuisine. Uh, their sandwiches do not have crust. Yeah, because they're gross. Crust is gross. Hey, I, don't, I don't like the crust either. I eat it because it's healthy, but I don't, I, I don't I'm know. I'm indifferent to crust. I can take it or leave it, but the sandwich is also, there's like one with like kiwi and strawberry and cream. It looks more like, like a cake than a sandwich. Yeah. Um, I mean, cakey sandwiches are popular from what I've seen. I just yeah. didn't know it. I was like, huh, oh, how about like melon bread? bread. I had gotta watch done. Lucky Star so you can you can learn about the the strawberry sandwiches that Miyuki wants to eat for lunch and comment us like is that even like lunch or is that a dessert? It's wait, exactly wait, what you're talking about. Have you seen Lucky Star? Oh, I see. Okay. I would but have you seen it twenty remember. times like me? Yeah, no. <laughs> have you seen it enough to quote it? <laughs> the great thing about having Alzheimer's like I do is it's always a new experience. You know, it's but like, you oh, don't sure. have. But you don't have. <laughs> you don't. I'm very forgetful. Uh-huh. But the great thing about having Alzheimer's, though, is like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well, um, I think we'll end with this one. Um, uh, Ryan asks, uh, what's a fast food item you legitimately love? The bean burrito from Taco Bell. I fucking love it, man. <laughs> I love the cheesy That's gordita it. crunch. It's great. I love it. It's a big old <laughs> tube of refried beans. I'm like, <laughs> I suck on it like a dick, man. I suck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if dicks taste like bean burritos, then I'm gay as fuck. Too. <laughs> 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 don't worry um what am i like that's fast food i don't know burger king like jack donald's chick-fil-a burger king can die in a fire man yeah, fuck what do you right? to do? Fuck burger king. i worked there for fuck six burger fucking king. years fuck that restaurant fuck i'm gonna ask twitter king. that i'm gonna ask yeah. twitter if they like burger king. does anyone like burger king <laughs> i mean i eat sometimes yeah. Uh, you, you know what? I really no, I and I do burger. really love when I, whenever they have whenever they mm-hmm. have uh, cheesy tots because the cheesy tots are yeah those thing. cheesy tots I used to steal them and when I worked there but I, I don't know how they made them so delicious. <laughs> no, oh my ridiculous. gosh! You know what? The quesadillas that you can have as a side item at cookout are just oh, yeah they are pretty good. So- they're so I, addicting. I <laughs> I don't think they're as good as uh, Taco Bell's quesadillas though, at least to oh, me. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They're just so easy to eat. It's like, um, um, yeah, it's great. 
I used to Dude, eat their um I used to eat their like chicken wraps a lot. I love their chicken wraps until I got food poisoning. Uh-huh. And then I never have yeah. never eaten that's, one again. <laughs> yes, that's how I feel about Doritos Locos Tacos. I have not eaten one since I got food poisoning, but I loved them. That's how as I soon as you get food food. poisoning, you feel so betrayed and it's like it doesn't even matter how much you <laughs> yeah. like the thing. Dude, I got I got cursed one time where like the worst food poisoning I had. I remember I was Friday, I finished school, I was done with a big week of exams. I wanted to treat myself. I got a grilled chicken wrap from Chick Fil A, mm-hmm. and then I got a uh, one of those like big multi fruit shake like drinks where it's like there's twenty fruit in here. And I <laughs> ate the the wrap and I drank the drink, and then I went to work. So I went home, felt sick, went to work. I walked in on my. I apparently it was like white as a ghost, and the main chef was like, "Get the fuck." <laughs> and I cannot eat a chicken wrap from Chick-fil-A anymore. And or oh, drink no. those drink. I'm cursed. It's like what, a what is it with chicken wraps? <laughs> also, it's like also, it's really easy to get like salmonella and shit from a, mm, if you don't do it properly. I mm. I got wasted as fuck at BabsCon uh, as a convention last year off of um whiskey. <laughs> Oh yeah, whiskey, whiskey will do it to you, man. Like, oh, I I, I had like four or five shots, uh, big hefty hefty shots during the panel, and I'm like, I'm doing it to have fun, uh, but I didn't eat anything, and then it hit me like a fucking truck. I uh, actually passed out, and that's which has never happened before. Well, once before back in college, but it's been years. You're making and a big mistake. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, I'm never drinking whiskey again. I, I to this day, I remember, I you, you, like, like, like I cringe. You and Race called the Discord and like we we were hearing like I remember yeah. that. Yeah, we were hearing like what, what you were you, you were like, like I found some good porn. I found good porn. <laughs> <laughs> you you were, you were, you were like I, they were making fun of me on the panel and like it's. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's great about the like vlog of that is just where we're saying was just like this place like I'm so sorry, thank you all so much. You're so great. <laughs> <laughs> like, the thing about me when I get drunk, I I am very sentimental and apologetic, and uh, it's it it and I also say sorry a lot. Where I'm like I'm sorry, am I saying am I talking too much? I'm sorry. It's like my emotions are amplified. You say I love you guys so much. People so like much. Apparently, I'm fun when I'm drunk, but like I don't want to be drunk. I, I have, have no idea I have, when I'm drunk. I have no idea what my drunk personality is. I have no idea. I vent about past loves, <laughs> stupid okay. stuff. Like it's like so bad. I, I could be an angry drunk. I could be a sentimental drunk. I have no clue in the world. Don't don't open that can of worms if you yeah, don't. Yeah, right. <laughs> be sober. Sober's fine. If if sober's sober's fun. Yeah, I feel somebody. bad for people who get drunk because they're upset. Smile for me. Remember that year? <laughs> that was so. I. That was the most like I felt like almost like, sexually harassed almost. Like it was really that level. I was like, what? Yeah. Guy, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is he? I don't know why he said that. We'll see that guy again in in May. <laughs> oh, I sure hope not. He smelt like dumpster on ass. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um. No, so, well, we got another super chat here from Dumpster 19. Dumpster on ass. We got another <laughs> uh, another super chat, and then we'll we'll uh, call it a, a a night. All right. So, um, your opinions on the anime called that time I got reincarnated as a slime? Gosh, the title is so such a my I've I've um like seen stuff about it. I I want to watch it because it looks pretty. It's interesting. so wholesome. Yeah. It's so wholesome. It's like one of those shows, like, because people were complaining about that Goblin Slayer show. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. But then you watch this show, and it's just like. This is just so likable. This is just like a nice, wholesome show, like uh, Dragon Maid. Dragon Maid's like a wholesome show you just watch, even though they yeah. got titties. And that's what this show is. It's got elf titties and all that stuff. But... I don't know. There's something really refreshing about watching just a wholesome show. You're like, oh, this is nice. No no nonsense. It's just anyone yeah. can watch this. I guess that, that's, that's why people... That's why you like Paddington so much. That's why I liked Paddington. And also why I yeah. like Summer Camp Island. Because that, that, that show is like mm-hmm. so like comfy. Right. Um, it's a nice. Ah, uh, that's what the peanuts is. I love the peanuts. The peanuts. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the peanuts movie is one of my favorite animated films. All right. So that's it for tonight. Um, yeah. well, that's the only non wholesome part. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys um next time in a couple weeks. Um, so we'll see you again in February. So bye, everybody. See you, bitches. Bye. <laughs> <Bye-nye. laughs>